Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear uh, women of Srebrenica, mothers of Srebrenica, then I would like to particular also welcome my two colleagues uh, from the Commission. First of all, Andrew uh, Commissioner Andrew Kaitis and Commissioner Poltz, Lithuania and uh, Slovenia, I think, uh, uh, on various rare occasions, we should uh, mention the home country of our colleagues and not always to say um, the country I know best, but there is a certain personal relationship why our colleagues are here today with us. Once again, in particular, I would like to welcome uh, representatives from the, of the women of uh, Srebrenica and the mothers of Srebrenica, as well as from many other NGOs <clears throat> in Bosnia and Herzegovina who have traveled a long way to be here with us, and tonight we honor you. I would now like to share a moment of silence to commemorate the victims. The genocide of Srebrenica scared not only Southeast Europe, but Europe as a whole. It left innumerable deep wounds. It imposes the moral obligation on us all never to forget. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of this strategy, I have invited uh, the photographer Seat Husic to exhibit uh, his works here in the Bellamont building at the heart of Europe. This exhibition shows portraits of uh, 40 women of Srebrenica who have lost their loved ones, husbands and sons, fathers and grandfathers, uncles and friends. So these striking portraits of grief, we can only start to imagine their loss. We are honoring the victims showing our deep respect, and we look into a mirror of Europe's and the world's failure to protect them. For the leaders of the European Union, one of the main lessons learned from the 1890s, from the 1990s, sorry, the Balkan Wars was not just to engage in reconstruction. More fundamentally, we have been crystal clear that the future of each country in the region lies in the European Union. The Southeast European countries are a genuine part of Europe. Without them, our project is not complete. Their citizens deserve the opportunities and freedoms that characterize our lives in a union of over 500 million people. It's a union which remains first and foremost a peace project. We expect the strongest commitment from all countries in the region to focus their work on their European paths. This is the best way to reconcile with the tragedies of the past and to ensure that such crimes never happen again. Reconciliation remains a fundamental objective for all of us, but reconciliation passes through truth and justice. Bringing war criminals to trial and in so doing, bringing justice to the victims and their families has been supported by the European Union throughout the last two decades. We have, for instance, supported the work of the International Commission on Missing Persons. We are working closely with civil society to help the victims. We have strongly supported the work of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, including by conditioning progress of the countries towards the EU upon the full cooperation with the ICTY. Last but not least, the EU particularly focuses on helping accelerate the work 
of domestic courts and prosecutors to clear the war crimes backlog, because justice delayed is justice denied. But we all know that while there is no reconciliation without justice, justice alone does not bring about uh, reconciliation. Reconciliation must gradually grow within societies between peoples and nations. Reconciliation cannot be imposed from outside. It must be achieved in the countries and in the region. It's not a given. It requires continuous efforts on everyone's part. What matters now is to continue rebuilding the trust between the peoples in Bosnia and Herzegovina and in the whole region. I therefore wish that this commemoration, which is primarily about honoring the victims of the genocide, will at the same time act as an impetus for broader reconciliation. Ladies and gentlemen, before we can have a closer look at the exhibition, I would like to invite Seat Husic to share with us his thoughts about the concept of the exhibition and his portraits. Following, following Seat's intervention, a representative of the association, Women of Srebrenica von Tusla, will take the floor. And finally, I have to excuse, struck by the situation, by the event, I have forgotten that uh, there should be a translation. And I hope, I think it doesn't uh, make sense to translate now everything. Maybe the, the speech can be provided and translated uh, once again. It happened for the first time to me, uh, but I think it's expression of the situation I'm also personally facing. Thank you very much. And uh, now may I ask Seat uh, to give his speech. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner, representatives of the Bosnian delegation, dear guests, at first allow me to thank you for your hospitality here at the European Commission, especially to all those who have supported and enabled this exhibition. Dame i gospodo, povjereniče, predstavnici bosanske delegacije, dragi gosti, Dopustite mi prije svega zahvaliti vam se na gostoprijemstvu u Europskoj komisiji. Osobito se zahvaljujem onima koji su pružili podrož u organiziranju i omogućili organiziranje ove izložbe. In particular, I thank Herrn Hahn for the patronage of the exhibition and the Bosnia-Herzegovina team for the considerable commitment and personal dedication during the preparation of this evening. I thank especially all of you. Also, I take this opportunity to thank my dear friend, the correspondent and filmmaker Kai Tos, who has accompanied the project Women of Srebrenica from the outset. If you would like to get more information on the background of the project, I encourage you to watch this short movie of really one of the screens. Only the left one works, I think. I am also very glad to greet Haira, Nura, and Hatija, two, three women of Srebrenica. Today, I would like to hand all 40 portraits 
over to these three women so that they can permanently remain at the memorial center in Potocari. Također mi je zadovoljstvo pozdraviti Kairu, Nuru i Katidžu, tri žene iz Srebrenice. I danas bih želio predati im sve portrete tim trima ženama kako bi ih mogle postaviti kao stalnu izložbu u memorialnom centru u Potočarima. I will briefly illustrate the origins of the project because it began with Haira. I visited Haira Čatić in July 2002 for the first time as I intended to write a report about the women in Srebrenica back then. Dopustite mi samo ukratko da vam prikažem kako je nastao cijeli ovaj projekt, a nastao je preko Haira. Ja sam Hajro Čatić posjetio u julu 2002. godine prvi puta, jer sam tada namjeravao pisati izvještaj o ženama Srebrenice u to vrijeme. Of course, I was familiar with the media reports on mass murder in the Bosnian Muslim enclave perpetrated by the army of the so-called Republika Srpska. After the conquest in July 1995, more than 8,000 innocent men, teenagers, and boys were killed in the shortest time. Naravno da sam bio upoznat sa izvješćima medija o masovnim ubojstvima u muslimanskoj bosanskoj klavi koju su počinili, koju je počinila vojska tzv. Republike Srpske. Nakon osvajanja u julu 1995. godine Više od osam tisuća nevinih muškaraca, tineđera, dječaka ubijeno je u najkraćem mogućem periodu. Meanwhile, the crime was a subject to indictment by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia in The Hague. Both men in charge, the former president of the Republika Srpska, Radovan Karadžić, and his supreme commander of the armed forces, Radko Mladić, were on the run. Currently, both are on trial. Umeđu vremenu, zločin je bio uključen u optužnicu, postoje dio optužnice Međunarodnog krivičnog suda za bivšu Jugoslaviju u Hagu. Obojica predsjednika, bivši predsjednik Republike Srpske, Radovan Karadžić, i njegov vrhovni komandir oružanih snaga, Radko Mladić, bili su u bijegu Yet I have to admit that at that time I knew little about the association women of Srebrenica and the commitment of these women. I went to the house where women were attending their meetings in North Bosnian town of Tuzla. Pa ipak moram priznati da u to vrijeme nisam puno znao o udruženju žene Srebrenice i o njihovom angažmanu. Otišao sam u kuću gdje su se okupljale na sastancima žene, te žene u sjevernobosanskom gradu Tuzli. I encountered Haira, a spokeswoman for the association in the reception room. She sat in the office chair surrounded by hundreds of portraits of the murdered men, boys and teenagers. Hajru sam sreo, Hajru koja je glasogovornica udruženja bila, u dnevnom boravku. Sjedela je u radnoj stolici, okružena stotinama portreta ubijenih muškaraca, dječaka i tineđera. The walls were completely covered with the photographs. I viewed little images, old black and white photographs of smiling male faces, typical memory photos made on various occasions, New Year celebrations and birthdays, snapshots of happy boys or men on vacation. Zidovi su bili potpuno prekriveni fotografijama. Pogledao sam, pregledavao te slike, fotografije, crno-bijele fotografije, nasmijanih lica, tipičnih uspomena, fotografija koje su snimane na različitim prilikama proslova Nove godine, rođendani, kratki snimci dječaka ili muškaraca na odboru. Among them are passport photos of men in uniform of the Yugoslav People's Army, which they wore while serving during peaceful times. 
The pictured ones look into the camera seriously and proudly. There are also portraits of children. The youngest one who has been murdered was seven years old. Među tim fotografijama nalaze se i fotografije spasoša muškaraca u uniformama Jugoslovenske narodne armije koju su nosili služeći vojsku u vrijeme mira. Na fotografijama se nalaze, da pred kamerama se nalaze ozbiljna i ponosna lica. Ima i portreta djece. Najmlađi koji je ubijen imao je samo sedam godina. One of the photographs shows a young man. Haira told me it is her, her son, Nihad. He was reporting from besieged Srebrenica as a journalist for the Bosnian television and was also taken by the Serb soldiers after the conquest of the enclave. His body has st still not been found. One of the photographs is the young man. Haira told me that it was his son, Nihad. On je bio reporter iz opkoljene Srebrenice. Radio je kao novinar za bosansku televiziju i srpski vojnici su ga odjeli nakon osvajanja enklave. Njegovo tijelo još nije pronađeno. The body of Haira's husband already has been exhumed from a mass grave near Srebrenica. And Haira said, All I think about every day is to find Nihad's remains so that I can bury him, my only child. Most women from Srebrenica feel like Haira. With their association, they fight to ensure that the authorities continue to search for the murdered family members until the remains of every dead man are found. While I delved deeper into the Srebrenica issue during the following years, I noticed that these women are faceless in the public media, especially in the Western ones. There are some documentary photographs of the grieving women at the graves, Yet these pictures seem too dissociated to me. Dok sam prekopavao dublje u to pitanje Srebrenice narednih godina, primijetio sam da žene nemaju lica pred medijima, osobito u zapadnim medijima. Ima nekih dokumentarnih fotografija o žalošćenih žena nad grobovima, međutim nekako mi te dvije stvari in contrast, I wanted to look them in the eye, to show their faces. I think that each observer should be obliged to look these women in the face. Commissioner, dear guests, your acknowledgement of this exhibition embodies a significant gesture for that we all can look these women in the eye and never forget about this terrible dark crime. Tako da svi mi možemo pogledati te žene u oči i nikada ne zaboraviti taj, taj strašni, mračni zločin. So I hand over symbolically this book to Haira and I hope that she will say a few words to you. O, simbolično ću Haira predati knjigu i nadam se da će vam se obratiti nekoliko riječi.
Dragi naš sejo, ja ti se u ime prvo svoje zahvaljujem, pa onda u ime ovih svih žrtava ovde koje si uradio ove fotografije, a i one koje nisu na fotografijama. Zaista, ova današnja izložba nas toliko dirnula, obzirom da se navršava 11. jula 20. godišnjica genocida u Srebrenici. Dear Sad, um, I would like to thank you for this. Thank you in the name of the victims, all those who are exposed here, but also the others who are not pre presented on the pictures. I am deeply touched to this exhibition, especially today on the 20th anniversary of the genocide. A isto tako drago mi je što je ova izložba danas ovde postavljena u gradu Briselu, obzirom da znamo da su ovde smještene institucije Evropske unije. I am especially glad to see this exhibition here in Brussels because we all know that this is the place where all the EU institutions are placed. I nadam se da će čuti glas žrtve i da će učiniti sve da se u Srebrenici i u Bosni i Hercegovini stanje zaista popravi. And I do hope that people will hear the voice of victims and that you will do everything you can to make to improve the situation in Bosnia Herzegovina. Da mi koji nismo pronašli još svoju djecu da nam pomognu da ratni zločinci se pohapsi. Jer možda mnogi se skrivaju u Srbiji i susjednim državama to help us who have not found our children yet, to help war criminals be brought before justice and arrested, uh, because they are hiding, a lot of them are hiding in Serbia and the neighboring countries. Imamo sporazum sa Srbijom, tužilaštvo koje je potpisalo, međutim, ja ne vidim da je Srbija i koga do sada isporučila. We do have an agreement with Serbia, with the prosecution, but I haven't seen anybody being delivered. Međutim, u zadnje vrijeme se hapsi bošnjaci samo zato što su preživjeli Srebrenicu. However, Bosnians are being arrested just because they survived Srebrenica. Sve joj hvala ti još jednom, zaista za ovako divnu izlažbu. Sve, hvala ti još jednom za ovako divnu izlažbu.